Hello everyone. I have an endless passion for inverters and I'm always looking to improve my projects. Today, I'm sharing with you my latest inverter project. This project is available for free. Contact me via my personal Facebook and I will send it to you. This inverter has a rated power of 1500 watts and a peak power of 2000 watts for 15 seconds. It has protection modes such as low battery protection, high battery protection, over temperature protection, and overload protection. The maximum conversion efficiency is up to 95%. Thank you to All PCB for sponsoring this project. You can download the Gerber file I've provided to place an order for the PCB. The ordering and payment process is very simple and fast. It takes about two days to manufacture the PCB and you'll receive it after around one week. If you don't need the PCB urgently for your project, you can switch from express shipping to SF International. I've found that SF International offers very affordable rates and the delivery time is also quite fast. If you're in the US, I recommend using SF International as your shipping provider. If you order a PCB on All PCB right now, you can get a high quality one to six layer PCB for only $1. Sign up with the link in the description to claim your $1 PCB prototype. I highly recommend checking them out. After about a week, I received the PCB and the quality is excellent. There are no small defects at all. Next, I will proceed to assemble this project. First, we will install the small components. Here are the gate resistors and discharge resistors for the MOSFETs. I chose 100 ohm gate resistors and 2K2 discharge resistors. What's special here is that I used a gate driver transformer. When using a gate driver transformer to drive the MOSFETs, you will see a significant increase in conversion efficiency compared to direct driving. I will have a separate video discussing this topic. I have an auxiliary 12 volt winding from the transformer and use these four small diodes to rectify it into 12 volts to power the cooling fan. Whenever the transformer operates, the cooling fan will work as well. I also added a 2-8 fuse to protect the system in case the cooling fan malfunctions, preventing it from damaging the, the power MOSFETs. These are the four main rectifier diodes. They generate a voltage of about 380 volts to power the H-bridge. They get quite hot when operating at high power and need to be cooled with a heat sink. This fan was originally an ion fan, however, I have converted it into a solder fume extractor. Solder fumes are very toxic, so you should either build or buy a fume extractor to ensure your safety. Next are the 450A fuses, filter capacitors, 12 volt power module, and power MOSFETs. 
Here I'm using 140 watt MOSFETs with a voltage rating of 85 volts, which are very suitable for a 24 volt system. What's special here is that the MOSFETs don't need insulation pads between them. This makes it easier to cool the MOSFETs compared to traditional inverter designs. I'm using an EE55 transformer with a turns ratio of 2 to 2 231. It operates at 24 volts and has a maximum power output of 2000 watts. You need to solder the transformer terminals and power traces carefully because when operating at maximum power, the current passing through them is very high. This is the power module and PWM module. I'm using the KA3525IC just like in many other projects. The KA3525 remains a reliable oscillator IC in inverter designs. After completing the DC-DC stage, I will test to ensure the circuit works perfectly. We need to check the DC voltage behind the main rectifier bridge, the 12 volt supply for the control board, as well as the 5 volt supply for the EGS002. Once all voltage levels are correct, I will proceed with assembling the remaining components. After soldering the four IGBTs for the H bridge and the EGS02 control module, I will proceed to assemble the sign filter inductor and capacitors. The inductor has a value of 2 millihenries, and the capacitor has a value of 2.5 microfarads. Additionally, to ensure the quality of the output voltage, I've also added an EMI filter at the 220 volts output. And here is the completed product. It looks quite nice, doesn't it? Now I will test it. I have connected the input to a 24 volt 50 amp power supply and the output is connected to an oscilloscope and a power meter. The output voltage is stable at 220 volts and the waveform is a sine wave. With a thousand watt load, the maximum efficiency is around 92%.
The inverter operates steadily and coolly with no components overheating significantly.